Marion County Sheriff's deputies are now sharing what it was like trying to get people to evacuate their homes and escape the Beachy Creek fire. Fox 12's Bridget Chavez is live in Salem with how these first responders managed to save lives. Bridget? Well, the dash cam video from these deputies is just incredible. They say they couldn't even believe how fast the flames were moving and they knew they had merely minutes to get people to safety. This hellscape is what Marion County Sheriff's deputies had to drive through to help get people out of the raging path of the Beachy Creek fire. That thing, it was a monster. I, I, I don't know how to explain it any other way. Uh, it was a flat monster coming down the mountain. It was huge. I think I described it as about a mile long. Senior deputies at the Marion County Sheriff's Office, Tom Barber and Casey Burnham, describe frantically trying to warn everyone to get out. Started going door to door, driving down the streets, lights and sirens, making as much noise as we could, screaming evacuate, evacuate, leave now, uh, tell them there's a fire, tell them the danger. Barber at one point hitting a power pole and later a boulder. And I struck a, a boulder that was in the middle of the road, pulled over real quick. I thought for sure my transmission was gone, tires were gone, everything. Praise the Lord that all my tires were there and there was no transmission fluid leaking. Traffic stalled on Highway 22 as people rushed to get out, but the fire at that point had already jumped the road. Which creates even more panic because of the fact that that's one of the only ways out of that canyon. And if you've got fire on both sides, uh, we're in real trouble. Still in shock over how quickly the fire ripped through the Sanium Canyon. And I could literally watch that fire just move. At a, at a pace that I couldn't believe. Like I said, one minute I'm driving and there's trees down, the next minute there's fire. It was that fast. Running toward what everyone else was running away from. The sergeant, I remember his words, says he wouldn't know how to uh, live with himself if we didn't get everybody out. Praying that destruction like this never happens again. And I will tell you that I will fight or, or struggle with a criminal that I'm arresting any day over seeing the flames and fighting with the flames because it's so unpredictable. And both those deputies say they're just grateful to have been able to help out and get more people out of harm's way. Reporting live from Salem, Bridget Chavez, Fox 12, Oregon.